Well, hello there. Today we're going to do a tutorial in Motion Builder so, so we can learn how to do um, basic shit. Today we're going to be learning how to do an infinite walk cycle by using a basic walking Motion Builder file. Now, if you haven't gotten to the point where you are capable of taking a Motion Builder file, getting an actor um, rig, and then applying those two to get some basic motion within the thing, I can't help you there, but what I can help you to do is use your pre-existing motion build data to make something pretty fucking neat. So we're just going to go ahead and run, run and do that. So but the key point of this will be understanding how to use the story editor and using that to create multiple clips which you can actually turn into an infinite walk cycle and clip them all along. That's what's going to be essential to making this work. So first things first, we've got to find a good bit of little animation that we want to use. To create the walk cycle. So I think there's one really good one like right about here. We can use that for the infinite walk cycle. Now the secret to this is we've got to clip it at the soon the soon as the animation begins to end and begin. So like no in-betweens at all like fuck around with it. So that's ideal. So, yeah let's just do 955. And then the end frame for that animation will be around a uh, thousand. So this is crucial. You've got to put in your two end frames that you want for the current take that you want to uh, extract and put onto your story um, editor. So next step is get rid of these uh, track shots here because I believe they fuck up you trying to take a take. And then the next step is to insert a character animation track. Once you've got that thing, you can add the only character within your scene, which will be this fucker. And then, with the uh, clipping that you've done here, you can now um, add the current take, and what should happen is this little marker here should now present the animation that you have. So now you can drag that, say to like frame zero, which is like if I can fucking zoom in, that is. Put that to frame zero, not negative one, frame zero, cunt. Put that there, and now what you got is an animation that plays only at frame zero. Now this is pretty fucking useful if you want to Go straight to Maya with the uh, animation file that you have, put it in there and have it start frame zero instead of what it was before, which was 955. So, now that you have that basis of understanding with that, what you want to do is shift your thing back to zero again. And what we'll do now is um, start with the uh, endless cycle. So once you got that clip there, you copy it, shift it over, and place it. Now you have two of the same animation that laps over each other. Now, what's gonna create the change in location is a foot locator um, option here. I think, and I'm, not sure, I'm not sure what this is called, but it's it's a matching thing. Basically, it just matches the location of a particular um, controller in relation to the last clip. But before we do that, we need to figure out where and when the animation is gonna begin. So I probably should have done that before I copied the clip. So I'll do this now. So we have a good starting point here for the foot. So we'll just drag that along there to like frame 11. Drag it along until it gets to that foot again. Uh, if it does it a second time, that's usually pretty good. But it looks like it only gets back to that position once. So what we've got here is a classic case of a single, single back to step. Um, cycle. So every time it gets to that foot, it's going to cycle again. So, it, so this animation began with the foot just getting down, which means we need to end the animation with the foot just going down as well. So, foot goes down around frame frame 24. So we'll put it there. Now we got all this good shit right here. Now we'll probably just drag it back to the same frame zero again. 25 frames of a single cycle. So we'll copy that again. Bring it back. Now we have the two cycles again. Now we get to use this tool. So since the prominent first, you know, um, landing foot was the one in front of us, I believe that's the what is it? The right foot? Left foot? It's the left foot. That's the foot that's going to lead the um, the placement of the foot in the following animations. And if I've done this right, actually, you know what? I think we need a bit more, like an extra frame more on that. Foot, so that way when it lands it's not moving yeah we need a bit more okay because what needs to happen is that when you when the foot lands it needs to not be moving as much yeah there we go there's a bit of static there for a second there so that'll be ideal 
So I'll copy that again, put it back. Um, this is not going to be a great tutorial. Take the foot up, put it down, lands. Now, this is what we want to do. Click on the proceeding clip, make sure it's you know, close to the thing. And then you go to this button here. I think all the settings are right, so long as you've selected the IK that you want to use as a reference. Then you click OK, and what will happen is this amazing thing where, oh, that's almost actually perfect, look at that. Apart from a little jitter there, it's basically a walk cycle where he continues off from where he started. So that's good, but that's not, that's not it, we're not done yet. You can have that just for a like, basic walk cycle, but there is a way to refine it. So, best way to do that is to go into the clip you have here and start playing around with the lengths of some of them. So, say if we extend the length of this and make it um, collide with this clip here, it will smooth out the transition between that step. So it should already make the step a little bit better. Yeah, look, you almost don't even know when the transition happens. Yeah, it's basically good. And then you just refine that to however you want it to be. Like, at first his head's looking down a tattle, but it kind of comes back up, and there's a small bit of jitter. There is a way to actually make that better, though. So if you select both clips and then go into the properties thing, Basically, there's a controller here which allows you to, I'll find it eventually, here it is, it's the fade in and the fade out. Basically, this allows you to smooth the transition between um, the two frames a bit better instead of linear. So, smoother usually looks, looks pretty good, and you'll see that difference happens around here. The two lines sort of smooth out, and that makes the transition a little less noticeable, as per se, yep. You can even go as far as to sort of, because there is a bit of a stopping point, and you want a sense of... Um, continuousness going through so we say we'll move this track a bit in a bit more maybe about like a single frame and see what that does see look we get a nice smooth transition where the body doesn't seem to stop at any point and that's just a matter of tweaking it all so let's see we increase this by one two three four five six frames i think yeah it's about six frames in so what you can do after that is copy it and then copy both frames even, and then push, put them there, take that frame and make sure that collides about six frames in. You can count if, if need be, so it's like, I th no that's seven frames I think. So that's six frames I believe. You can even copy it, oh shit, you can copy it even a second time. And that's about eight clips worth of cycling, which is fan fucking tastic. So even so, once again, go back in. Make sure that's six frames. I believe that is cool. Now we have eight frames animation, and just before we go ahead with ourselves, we can smooth them uh, by going back to that same option before, which I can almost never fucking find. I think it's right here. Yep, they'll be um, set as smooth, but I won't. They'll be smooth for the first few. So you just have to reset the settings so that way it makes the other one smooth as well. So see here, all of them are smooth now. But, you're not done yet, because since you've copied the exact same frames, the locators are still sort of referencing that first couple of frames. But it's easy enough, because so long as that IK is still selected, you can just select each preceding thing. Click here, push OK, click here, push OK, click here, push OK, just over and over for how many clips you have. Because what this will essentially do is relocate each of the points as to the previous clip. And since you're clicking on a clip, which is always preceding the clip that you just affected, it will essentially just add to it and add to the location. So what you should end up with is an animation where he is just walking forward, if I've done it right. See, look, seamless walking, walks forever. Uh, there's a bit of a, there was a bit of a fast forward there, I think I noticed, actually. Yeah, hang on. He kind of like jutters forward a tattle. Like, yeah, yeah, right there. But that's just a matter of adjusting and smoothing for yourself. And then once you have finished with all the clips that you want to edit, you can move it along the timeline and, uh, as to where you want it in the animation. Uh, you can make it forever and then just reposition where it is and then make it sort of like, I don't know, you can do whatever you really want. That's the, that's the beauty of the story editor, having those clips and then being able to shift them to the desire of your animation, all that good shit. So, hopefully this was helpful for y'all. I know this it's on, it's on a big grind this year for um, AUT, and I hope y'all do well with your uh, mo ca motion capture. Internet is a very helpful place, and I'm always willing to share a little nugget of knowledge towards me uh, classmates every once in a while. 
And I know some of you wanted this, and uh, so hopefully this is helpful coming up to the due date. And good luck to, to all of y'all. So thanks again for watching, and um, you you have yourself a good day. You go to sleep. Have a have a have a nice hot chocolate, or have a fucking cup of tea, or a coffee, or whatever. Just sit down, chill out. Try not to worry too much. Have a wank. I don't care. Just do whatever makes you cool off. Alright, have a good time now. Goodbye.